Hey folks, Michael McGee here. It is time to feed the pigs and well, I'm just going to let you guess. Do you think we're going to the feed store for feed? No. If you've been around us a while, you know that we've got this thing down to a science about raising our own feed for pigs. But if you're new here, just hang around a little bit and you're going to see how we do it. We're all about self-sufficiency, independence, and feeding pigs cheap. We're fixing to head on out and go to our own feed store. Let's go get her done, boys. There it is. All right, folks, here's our feed store. I'll just show you right here what we grow for pigs and for cows. We grow open pollinated white field corn called Trucker's Favorite. So we built this, we call this the corn crib. I know it's just kind of like a storage shed, but we built this just a month and a half, two months ago, for especially for corn. The throw in here, keep the mice out. We was real careful around the bottom to make it mouse proof. So far we've seen no sign of mice. But this is some more good corn, let me tell you. We grind it and make our own cornmeal for cornbread and use it on everything that you'd use cornmeal on, but animals love it. I mean, they eat it like candy. So we're gonna scoop up some of this and we're gonna run over to the barn and we're gonna shell it and give it to the pigs. Let's get it done. This is not the pig that we are going to shell corn for, but we'll throw a few ears across over there so that he can have a little bit. He's got this whole field to pick through. Hey, what do you say? What do you say? Is that good or what? Huh? Oh, man. You guys are thinking, man, that's a woolly pig. And I'll tell you what it is. That's a mangalitsa. That's a mangalitsa, known for being one good pig. And I have been impressed with their personality and impressed with the meat quality. Just impressed with that pig all around. I'm loving that boy. And he's been castrated. He's gonna go in the freezer, but it don't hurt to have a pig with a nice disposition to raise up. He ain't all the time trying to get out. And he's just, I mean, one more good pig. I like him. ready to shell us a little corn for these pigs. The pigs are directly behind me on the other side of the barn. Right back in there, you can kind of see, there they are. So we'll be feeding them in just a second. Time to shuck some corn, boys. What do we use this shuck for, Dave? To put in there for the pig Ah, pig bedding. That's Joel. That's Matthew, that's David, and look who's climbing out of the barn. Caleb, what's going on, dude? I was going up there to see if a car fell down. Oh, yeah? Did it stay up? Yeah. He's talking about his tunnel, his hay tunnel. You going to do some corn, bud? Oh my goodness. It went right back where we're supposed to. Is this your favorite part? Yeah. Why, why do you like it? Just fun? Yeah. 
There you go. Press down on it there. Here, I'll hold it. You crank. I know you hardly hot, tall enough to even reach it. Uh -oh. There you go. Them little old nubbins like broke off pieces are kind of a mess. There you go. There you go. Go ahead. Keep it trucking. These corn fillers are just simple little apparatus. They just knock that corn right off that cob. I'll get you another one. There you go, bud. Wow. You like it, don't you? Be careful not to knock it off on the ground. We, we need that corn. Man, show me that. That's a pretty big ear, and that thing's as big as your head, nearly. <laughs> All right, try that. Good job, my man. You're doing good. This is it. That is, even the cob is big on that thing. Wow. <laughs> Caleb, do you like pigs? Do you like corn? Do you like farm life? What's your favorite thing about farming? Have anything that's your favorite about farming? Chickens. Chickens. That's interesting. I heard this week uh, on another homestead channel that chickens are the gateway drug to homesteading, which I thought was hilarious. But that does seem to be one of the first things people get when they move out. Mr. Caleb, I want you to be the video man. Can you be a video man? No. No? Well, here's your chance to try. I'm going to give you this camera and you video me and I will shell some corn too. It looks so much fun. It was his idea. Look at him smile. It was his idea to make a video about doing this. I'm starting to figure out why that he thought up that idea. <laughs> He's just like Tom Sawyer. He's got me figured out. He knows how to get he knows how to get me to do his work. <laughs> All right, time to take it to the piggies. We got a full, pretty much a full five gallon bucket. You don't want it plumb to the brim or it'll spill when you try to go and dump it in there. We ain't got speed. It's in your pen, dude. It's in your pen, dude. Good, huh? I thought you might like it. I 
thought you might like that. <laughs> All right, time to give pigs some bedding. Make you a bed there, girl. That right there is Mangalitsa, and that right there is her partner in crime. And he's not got a name, but he is a boar. And all boars end up on the table, but he is gonna get to live it up first. You like that, boys and girls? You like that? Well, just enjoy yourself. Yeah, buddy. Now don't be mean, girl. Don't be mean. If I was you, I'd lay down on that and take me a nap. That's what I'd do. But hey, it's yours. You do what you want with it. I said he likes to have his back scratched. <laughs> I don't think I don't think he really likes his back being scratched too much. We also give them the cobs. The cobs have just a little bit of corn on them still. And they'll find that needed. Oops. Oh, a little bit of manga. Yeah. Yeah. That lost the bottom to the box. seed and plant back every year. We're not spending money on seed and all that. Where you save your money is how you make it on a farm. So we're going to get out of here and also by having the children and they all pitch in and help and love it. They don't take this. I'm not forcing these boys to do this. This is fun for them. And I can't force anybody else's kids to enjoy work any more than I can mine. But my kids enjoy it. Tremendously. So, anyway, <laughs> we're just going to wrap this video up right now and tell you we love you. Thank you for watching. I hope that somehow you can find yourself in a position to raise your own corn and feed some pigs. You have a good day. We'll see you on the next video.